Welcome back. We're in the book of Exodus. The God's people are going to cross the Red Sea now. They've, they've left Egypt and the Egyptians have come, come roaring back and they're coming to get them. Well, let's see what happens next. So our reading is in 14 of Exodus verses 19 to 22. The angel of God who had been going before the camp of Israel moved and went behind them and the pillar of cloud moved from before them and stood behind them. So it came between the camp of Egypt and the camp of Israel. And there was the cloud along with the darkness, yet it gave light at night. Thus the one did not come near the other all night. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord swept the sea back by a strong east wind all night and turned the sea into dry land, so the waters were divided. The sons of Israel went through the midst of the sea on the dry land, and the waters were like a wall to them on their right hand and on their left. So God moves now. Remember, he's, the, he's in the pillar, the pillar of fire by night, and it's a, a mist of covering in the day. And that cloud moves here, we're told, in between the camp of Israel, the camp of the Egyptians. And so basically God is protecting his people. He's keeping the Egyptian chariots and military men from attacking his people. Meanwhile, the command comes to Moses, you know, put your staff up here and divide the waters. The waters are divided. God's people look, and there's this wall, there's a space through the waters. And what do they do? They're going to go down into the chasm between the waters and going through on dry ground. And that's exactly what we see here, right here. God's people, by faith, go on down into the chasm in between the walls of water. And they're headed to the other side. Meanwhile, God's holding, he's, he's preventing the Egyptians from following just yet. And we'll see what happens when they do. So what we have here is an example of divine intervention. How do we go forward? We go forward by faith. Uh, God tells us, God instructs us what to do. We act. Uh, it's, you don't need to sit down and have a big committee meeting. <laughs> when God tells you what to do, you go forward and you do it. And uh, God will sort the details out. We must by faith go forward. God will part the waters. And we'll see what happens next tomorrow morning.